There was also the film The Newton Boys, which was directed by Richard Linklater. Cheryl Crow was one of the actors he appeared in together in the movie The Minus Man. Dwight was, drum roll please, a really successful individual if you can believe it. He earned a reputation for playing charismatic and diabolical villains, which is a far cry from his musical image, which is endlessly lovable. He received some praise when the cast of Sling Blade won a Screen Actors Guild Award. But after that, Dwight started to have some ideas. Having a name in the film industry was not enough. Because he desired to be in charge, he devised a strategy to achieve this goal. In his very own Western, he would not only write, but also direct and appear in the film. In addition to that, he would be responsible for the music. At this point, what could possibly go wrong? On the other hand, it turns out that a great deal. Following the decision of the film's funder to withdraw from the project just prior to the beginning of production, Dwight was left with choices. He had the option of either canceling his passion project or paying for it on his own. Dwight clenched his teeth and coughed up the cash, but it came at a significant expense to him. It was necessary for him to sell his home in Malibu. In addition, the situation continued to deteriorate in some way. 